Question 1. You'll be driving your vehicle in Europe. Which of these documents must you carry? Your national driving license. Question 2. What condition could prevent you from holding a lorry or bus license? Partial blindness. Question 3. You've been convicted of a drink drive offense and banned from driving. Which entitlement will this ban affect? Your entitlement to drive all motor vehicles. Question 4. You're found to be two and a half times over the legal drink drive limit and are disqualified from driving. Before regaining your license, who will you have to satisfy that you? The Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency Question 5 for how long is a statutory off-road notification, SORN, valid? Until the vehicle is taxed, sold or scrapped. Question 6. What's a statutory off-road notification, SORN? A notification to tell DVLA that a vehicle isn't being used on the road. Question 7. What's the maximum fine for driving without insurance? Unlimited. Question 8. What's the current fine for each person illegally carried into the UK? Up to £2,000. Question 9. Drivers can be fined for bringing illegal immigrants into the UK. Who else can be fined? The Vehicle Hirer Question 10. How can vehicle operators help to prevent the carriage of illegal immigrants? By using an effective vehicle security system. Question 11. You're returning to the UK and are about to board a ferry. An immigration officer asks to see your documentation. What must you show them immediately? Your operator documentation. Question 12. A driver is convicted of bringing illegal immigrants into the UK. How is the fine calculated? for each person they bring in. Question 13. The Driver Certificate of Professional Competence, Driver CPC, requires you to take training every five years. How many hours of training must you take? Question 
35 hours. Question 14. You'll need to take 35 hours of training to maintain your driver certificate of professional competence, driver CPC. Over what period must this be carried out? Five years. Question 15. Every five years, you must complete further training to keep your driver certificate of professional competence, driver CPC. How many hours of training must you complete over those five years? Thirty-five hours. Question 16. You're applying for an LGV or PCV license for the first time. What will your medical examination include? An eyesight test. Question 17. Which category of license do you need to drive a triaxle double deck coach? D. Question 18. Why may coaches be subject to a search by immigration authorities at international ports? Financial Security Question 19. You're driving a coach, returning from a European trip. Why should you search the vehicle at the port? To prevent the carriage of illegal immigrants. Question 20. You're making a journey that crosses international borders. Which document should you produce at immigration control? A list of passengers. Question 21. Which license category do you need to drive an articulated bus, bendy bus? D. Question 22. What size of trailer can be towed by the holder of a full category D license? <laughs> 750 kilograms. Question 23. You hold a full category D license. What entitlement does this give you for towing? You can tow a trailer not exceeding 750 kilograms. Question 24. You intend to drive a midibus for hire or reward. It has more than 16 passenger seats. What's the minimum license entitlement you need? D. Question 25. Which license category do you need to drive a bus with 25 passenger seats? D. Question 26. Which authority has the power to impose conditions on a passenger carrying vehicle, PCV, operator's license? D. 
the Traffic Commissioner.